Today, I'm going to show you how to edit your weekly portfolio. You already copied it, named it, and shared it with your teacher, and now you can find it in your Google Drive. The easiest way to get to Drive is probably through your email, since you probably already know how to get to your Gmail. So open your Gmail, make sure that it is your SQU Gmail, because if it's another Gmail, you won't find it. So it's your SQ Gmail, and here next to that, you can find this nine dot thing that'll show you all your Google apps when you click it. We're going to look for Google Drive, and that will open right next to it. Here in my Google Drive, I can see all of my Google files. I can see docs, I can see slides, I can see forms, I can see everything, everything, everything Google. Um, you will probably not have very many things. I have a lot of them, um, but what I want to do is search for my weekly portfolio. I can see it's right here at the top, but I'm gonna show you how to search anyway. So at the top in the search bar, you can write weekly portfolio, and you should find yours. I have a few things called that, but this is the one that I want. Uh, my name, my ID, my section, 340 week portfolio, you will just have one of those. I have more because I was editing them. So it's opening up my portfolio and there are two ways to look at your Google Slides presentation. One is in the edit mode. That's what we're looking at right now. You can see all the slides on the side and all of the controls at the top. This is letting us edit the portfolio. The other way we can look at it is in the present mode. I'll show you that in just a second. So right now this is in edit mode. This is how we are going to uh, add all of the information that we need to add to it. Um, let's first go look at present mode and see what that looks like. In present mode, you cannot edit. So when you want to edit, you need to be in this edit mode. But let's look at present mode to see how it looks. Here it is in present mode. The arrows work, the buttons all work. I need to put my name and my ID and my section in here. And then I can use these buttons to go through my, my portfolio. So here in the introduction, I can use the arrows to look through and see the different bits of information. Um, here I'm on week two, I can see week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven. Um, in each week, you can see there are all the same assignments. Here's the weekly planner. Here is the self-study log. And here's vocab log one, two, and three. Um, that's what you'll be editing each week. At the bottom, you'll see the good example and the bad example. And these have uh, notes in them that show you why they're good or why they're bad. So you can understand how to get a good mark on yours. Let's go look at week two. So here in week two, there are two things I wanna do. I wanna add some images here and I want to type right here. To do that, I need to go back out into the edit mode. So if I scroll down to the bottom, the arrow will show me a place where I can click exit. Either that or I can hit escape. Here's exit and I go back into to edit mode. So to put an image in here, what I want to do is click on the image button and I can go up here to replace image. It will put an image in here in the same size and the same place. So replace image. I'm going to look in my drive. You maybe need to upload from your computer or go look in your photos or from your camera, wherever yours is saved. If you save it in your drive, then it will save all in the same place so you can select things easily. So it's gonna open up this box here so I can look for it. I'm gonna click the search button and I'm gonna put um, calendar week one and it's going to find everything named that there we go replace so now it's putting it in there it's the right size and the right shape um, i can make it bigger or smaller by grabbing the little blue handles in the corner um, oh no it's big i don't want it to be big i can click the undo button to make it go back how it was don't worry about breaking anything or deleting anything or doing anything. You're not going to hurt your weekly uh, portfolio by editing it. You can always click the undo button up here and it will undo whatever you've done and then redo to redo something if you make a mistake. So don't worry about it. You can always fix any problems that you have. These things you can't type in. Um, you can only type in the places that say click to add text and you can change images out. So let's look at the bottom, click to add text we can just click and type here. So Tuesday, 
grammar test at 10 a.m., for example. So now I've typed there. Um, and the text just stays. I don't need to save anything in Google Drive. Everything saves automatically. So if you close it, it's just saved. There's no save. It just saves by itself. So let's look at the next slide. Here in the next slide, I'm going to have to add text here, here, and here, just like before, just click and type. Here I'm going to need to replace an image. Same thing. So click on the image and then up here, replace image, upload from computer or go look in Drive. Um, and here, I need to make a little circle like this one. So I need to circle one of the skills. I'm going to go up here to shapes. I'm gonna find a shape that I like. Let's say this one. I'm gonna draw it where I want it. And it's gray, that's a problem. So I want to go to the top to the little fill bucket and I'm gonna put transparent. Now you can see it. Let's make the line a bit bigger so we can see it easily. And we can even change the color if we want to. Pink. Um, now you can see that, that circle really easily. Um, if you want to copy it to use it at the bottom, you can, or you can just add a new one. So you can right click and copy and right click down here and paste. And that way you can just make new ones or you can just add a new one with the shape button again. Um, so you can type here. You can make shapes, you can change the, the color of your shapes and the size of your shapes, you can replace images, and that's everything that you need to know. The undo button is the important part because if you make a mistake, you can always undo it. So now we've got our, our presentation finished. When I'm finished, I can just click. And now when I'm back in my Google Drive here, I've edited it and it saves automatically. So the next time I open it, I will see everything is just the same as it was.